Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Pets LP Part 30. We're finally in the 30s. How cool. Alright, so um, off camera, I did do a little bit, nothing too, too crazy. I just uh, worked on Cotton to get up all her lifetime rewards points, which uh, was a little bit of a struggle. Um, I did play a few days off camera, but... Um, yes, I did that, and now she has the fertility treatment for pets, so puppies and kittens galore. Um, and also, I went over here and began a family wall. Um, I had, you know, the kids take some pictures. Very hard to do, by the way. We have Andy and um, Little Miss Amber right here kissing. That's an old school picture. And then here's the kids right here. Then there's a picture of Cole and a picture of Cotton sleeping. Um, those are just the photos I have right now. I definitely will put more up. Oh, and then I have some of Andy's, um, you know, firefighter trophies um, hanging up right here on the wall. And then I think that's all I did off camera. I didn't do anything too, too crazy. Um, but yeah, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and give the give the adoption services a good call. Um, and see if there's any new ones. Uh, we need a male adult dog. And you know, I told you guys, I was kind of conflicted on if I want to go ahead and adopt a dog. I'm just like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just adopt another pup. Um, even though having a lot of animals is hectic, we're going to do it. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, and another thing that happened is... Br not Brandy. Whoops. Uh... Amber got abducted by aliens. I mean, she's female, so she can't get pregnant from it, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it was just, it was funny. Um, they're all females. Jesus. And are, all the rest of them are elders. I'm pretty sure if you're an elder, you can still, um, you can still, you know, impregnate a female dog. So what I'm going to go ahead and do... Is, uh, before we adopt one, um, I'm pretty sure we had, we, uh, yeah, we've been to our neighborhood pet adoption. There was nothing good. So let's go ahead and I guess just adopt one from the shelter. I would move one in, but animals cannot be, at least I don't think they can. Animals can't be moved in alone. They would have to come with another person, which would give us simoleons, and I'm just trying not to do that. Um, so this one, this is my thing. We can get a puppy and just age him up right away. I think that's what I want to do. Hopefully it's a big dog. If not, I'll customize it because I want, you know, two large breeds. Captain. I kind of like that. Captain and Cotton. All right. Captain's cute. I do like Captain. So yeah, we're adopting another puppies. Let's go ahead and go get the mail really quickly as we wait for Captain. Oh, another thing that's pretty cool. Hopefully I'll be able to show this to you guys um, in this part when everybody goes to bed. But um, <laughs> Meadow actually comes out as a ghost and it's pretty cool to see a horse ghost. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty freaking cool. Um, Andy... Don't go splash in the dog's pee. I didn't mean to click that. Go mop it up. Just so we don't have to wait for the sun to soak it up. Um. Alright. The kids are on a field trip right now. Captain should be here any second now. I think he should be. Come on, Captain. Captain, oh, Captain. Oh, Andy has a fire to go put out. He's, uh, he's been really busy at work. He's been making pretty decent money because of it. But I think um, the days that he was, um, that I didn't film, he literally worked probably three times a day, which is, you know, a good, like, 8,000 a day because it's about three. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. He, he got about 8,000 that day, um, which was cool. So, yeah, here's Captain. Little pups. Little pups, right here. He's not destructive, shy, but he's noisy. And uh, he only has six days until aging up. But unfortunately, as much as I love puppies, he's going to age on up, like, today. Um, so let's trigger his age transition. <laughs> Literally just got him, and he's aging on up. I'm sorry, Captain. I know being a baby is the best. 
I wish I could go back to being like a, a fetus. Oh, I love it. Awesome, he is a big dog. Yay, there's Cotton, she's like a new friend. Bark at her, socialize, nuzzle her. Yes, yes, yes. New friends, how exciting. Socialize, bark. Chase her and goof around with her a bit. So pretty much what you do is that, you know, your animals have to come good friends uh, for them to, you know, mate. All right, the kids are off to work. Oh, Bailey actually got a promotion, which is pretty cool. She is a, now a book genre sorter. <laughs> and uh, Cole's doing pretty bad in work. He's doing uh, pretty bad in work uh, because he's uh, been getting in trouble a lot lately. So, <laughs> yeah, he hasn't been having the best time ever. Um, why don't you go ahead and whisper to her, talk to her, rub her neck, pr yeah, feed her some horse granola. Well, these two are Captain and Cotton play in the middle of the street. Oh my goodness. Actually, the other day my dog got out and was running down the street, and my street is connected to probably one of the busiest streets in my town. And, um, he's a little English bulldog, and I seriously thought he was gonna get ran over. I, like, chased him down the road. I was so scared, because he's my baby, and it was just, it, it was scary. See? Look how busy Andy's been. He literally just got home, and he has to go again. No, don't go and prove it. Oops. Nope. He really doesn't want to. Look, he's like, No. I don't want to. He hasn't even said hello to his new friend. His new dog. He's a total dog person. He hasn't even said hi to Captain. <sniffs> Kidding me? Alright, let's uh, have these two socialize a bit more. Nuzzle. Aww. Let's see them nuzzle. I want to see them nuzzle. Oh, he didn't want it, jerk. Socialize with him more. What happened? You missed an emergency and lost some points. Well, that emergency was literally a second long then. They didn't need our help. <laughs> Whatever. Head home on. Head home, EMZ. Come see your new dog. Come on, you two. Come closer. Faster. <laughs> You try to nuzzle her, Captain. Oh, he's going to eat. He says, F her. I'm going to eat. Look at him running around. <laughs> uh, we'll definitely have to go ahead and um, get another dog bowl now. So, okay, I don't know if I want to put the dog bowls there anymore. I kind of want to move them somewhere else. Um, it's kind of like the best place for them right now. I could always put them up here in this room. It's kind of like the animal room, but I don't know. And we only have one bed in here too, which I mean is okay because we have this bed right here and then we have the dog house um, outside. I could always, as much as I love those plants, I could easily just do... Oh, I don't think that would work. We put move objects. Move objects on maybe? And do it like that. So much as I love these plants. I'll put one right there. Okay. That works. And for the dog bowls, don't mind all my <laughs> circles of doom. We will go ahead and uh, just put another one right there. That will work. Okay. And let's also go ahead and have Andy um, fill it and add a smart sensor on both of them. The smart sensor will pretty much just, uh, what I think it does is you can um, adjust the feeding time or something like that, or it, you know, it just knows to refill it or something like that. I don't know. Captain Sassy, see him like pretty much walk over Bailey's homework. I like him already. <laughs> All right, let's, um, 
Let's go ahead and talk to him and feed him a treat just so we can get to know Captain a little bit. Oh, Andy's cooking, actually. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, Andy, continue cooking. Where's Cotton? Cotton's over here talking to Bailey. Bark, socialize, sniff. All right, and tomorrow I'm going to have Rose go ahead and begin training a little bit more um, so we can max out all her skills. All right, socialize, socialize, socialize. Come good friends, you two. It's all I want. Socialize, sniff, possibly nuzzle. Probably not. Probably won't let it happen. Oh, they're nuzzling each other now. Oh. <laughs> Romantic. See, now they have the option to try for babies because of their friends. All right, we're going to do that tomorrow. They'll try for babies. Um, yeah, but for tonight, they're just going to have fun and chase each other and get to know each other a little bit more. But tomorrow, we're going to have them try for puppies. And uh, now that she has the fertility treatment, that's even cooler. Um, I'm going to have these two actually go ahead and head to sleep. Rose is going to go enter there. Oh, and we did have chicks uh, when I was, you know, doing like the photo shoot and uh, getting, you know, little uh, Cotton's Lifetime reward points up. They did have chicks and, you know, they aged. Uh, so now we're just going to have to wait for some more chicks. I'm not harvesting any of the eggs because I really do want chicks. Um, so I will see you guys Actually, in the morning. wait a second. Meadow's ghost, I'm pretty sure, is about to come out. If I'm correct. <gasps> no, there's a burglar! Oh, oh! No, Andy's brave, right? Can't Andy fight him? Shit. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I don't think we have a burglar alarm, so... Jeez. Wake up! Both of you, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh my goodness. Yeah. Shit. Are you kidding me? What is it? <gasps> no! What are you trying to take? My comp- You dick. You dick. Fight him! Go fight him, Andy! Andy, go fight him! Hurry, hurry, go, go, go. Go, go, go. I wish the dogs could attack him, too. Okay. Yes! <gasps> Woo! Just in time. Just in time. I'll fight you again. Oh, we can show him a funny cats video. <laughs> Come friends. Yeah, that's what you get. You do not mess with the waters unless you want to die. <laughs> Look, these two are like laughing over it. They're like, ha <laughs> You can leave now. Yeah. Goodbye. That's what I thought, little man. <laughs> Look at him with his umbrella. <laughs> it's quite funny. I like that. I'll take a picture of that. Sims logic. That will go on Twitter, because I find that real funny. Alright, I just want my money back. My computer. I could care less. Alright, the dogs are like, what just happened? Who was that? I got you now, burglar. Stay here by the car while I survey the house. Alright, these two are going to go uh, go eat and then head to bed. Like I wanted them to. All right, at least the kids, you know, are still asleep and didn't have to see that. Okay. Andy's going back to bed, and Amber will go back to bed as soon as the police officer leaves. All right, thanks. And as a reward for stopping the burglar, here is 500 simoleons. Thank you. And now um, I'm pretty sure we got reimbursed for everything that he took. Well, the computer... Let's see. Is it in here? Yes, it is. There we go. We also have some random stuff. We'll go ahead and sell all those items. Cool. 
All right, guys. So like I was saying, I will see you guys Alrighty. in the morning. So um, Bailey's awake. I'm having her actually go ahead and drink her mood enhancing potion. Um, hopefully this will bring her mood up completely. Oh, it's a leisure day. She could go back to sleep if she really wanted to. Um, all right. She will go eat some country bread. These two are sleeping. <laughs> you two need to go to sleep. They are so exhausted. And today's their baby making day. So they need all the energy they can get. So Captain and Cotton need to go to bed. I think uh, Cotton is stuck. So I'm going to do reset sim. Cotton waters. There we go. Now go upstairs and not lie down. Go upstairs. Oh, her energy's all the way up now. I guess that works. All right, Captain. I don't like using cheats, but I mean, that's kind of one that I just had to use um, due to the fact that she was glitched. All right, Cotton, oh, Cotton. I like Captain, oh, Captain. That's really cute. Um, Yeah, go to sleep because there's definitely gonna be some baby making today. And Bailey is going to head to the equestrian training parks with Rose and go ahead and, uh, you know, work on their skills a little bit. So Rose, wake on up. Come on out. It's a beautiful summer day, so let's go ahead and enjoy it. Um, let's go ahead and mount on her. Mount on that horse, girl. <laughs> And I really want to find uh, Cole a little girlfriend or something in this part. I really do. Uh, so, yeah, these two are going to go to the equestrian grounds. Oh, and it's Bailey's birthday. Oh, my gosh, already? So, Bailey's going to come a young adult um, today. Leisure day. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, that's nuts. I was not expecting that. <laughs> At all. Yeah, you can go sleep on his bed. I doubt Cole would care. Alright, Cole, go have yourself some breakfast. Some country bread. Um, and Amber and Andy, while he's down the stairs, why don't you two go ahead and do a little woohoo? Uh, while you guys have the free time. They're gonna do the nasty. <laughs> Lovely. What a nice little leisure day treat. All right. These two, instead of sitting out here making yourself a drink, which better be non-alcoholic because you are not legal yet, sweetie. Um, let's go ahead and where's Rose? Rose is right here. She's out there galloping around like crazy. Go mount back up on her and uh, what does she need to work on? She's actually thirsty, but she needs to work on her jumping skills. So go mount her. And then, Rose, come over, come over here and drink. She needs to work on her jockey skills for sure. But yeah. Go ahead and drink. And let's go ahead and do the jumping course. Go on. Get her walk backwards. Ah, <laughs> uh, she kind of messed up on that one at the end. Uh, go ahead and do it again. Try, try again. Just like, F you, bitch. Not doing it. All right, we're going to try to jump these ones over here. Did it great. Good, good, good. Keep going. Uh, the skills in jumping are kind of cool. They go up really, really fast because it's kind of hard to, you know, just, you know, continuously click over and over and over again jump, which is actually what I'm doing right now. But we're going to go ahead and jump all of these. We're going to kind of like rotate it. We're going to go practice our jumping over here. They're getting better. They are slowly but surely. All right, cool. Bailey has improved her... I'm so sick of these freaking emergencies. There's a big evil plot backfire right now. And little Appaloosa planes. There goes her dad. Right up there. 
It's probably like, oh, just another day. And it's leisure day. Like, how messed up is that? So messed up. I think we're actually going to have, like, a little family picnic. I'm um, probably at the dog park so the dogs can kind of, you know, enjoy each other's company a little bit. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is purchase a picnic table, not a picnic table, a picnic basket That's what I meant to say. And I think it would be nice. It would be nice. We can do the Oscars picnic basket or the typical fuzzy logic picnic basket. Um, they're the same thing. They're just different looking. I think we'll go with the Oscar one. I've never used that one, so that's the one we'll do. Let's see, is there anything else I want to grab? Maybe a nice little bonfire station. And I think that's, that's all we should need. Maybe, okay, I'm looking at these things. I'm like, maybe, just maybe this would be nice too. Um... Well, we'll go to the spring. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Not the spring. What am I talking about? We'll head to the summer festival. And if they have areas for mating, which I'm sure they will, because it's the Appaloosa Plains Summer Festival, we'll do that. So, yeah. And they should have most of this stuff here. So, with that being said, we'll go ahead and get that. And we'll also purchase a juice keg <laughs> for the adults. And let's go ahead and put all of this in our inventory. And um, I'll just have everybody kind of meet up with us here. But Captain Cole and Cotton and Amber are all going to head here now. And then Bailey. Um, Bailey's going to go ahead and head out there as well. And Rose will stay here. There's nothing for Rose to do there. But... Rose will stay here at the equestrian training grounds and continue her jumping skill. And then once Andy's done with work, he'll head there as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Who are they waiting for? The dogs? There they go. We actually need to teach Cole how to drive. I definitely want to teach him how to drive. Um, I don't know. Cole seems like the type of kid that would really want to learn. It's also Bailey's birthday, so I'll probably end up uh, getting her a little cake or something. All right, so let's see. There has to be... Yep, there's a dog house right here, which means it's mating season. <laughs> Can't speak. It's mating season. So with that being said, we are going to wait till those annoying sounds are gone. Um, Andy's dealing with it right now. We're going to put down our little picnic basket but for now we're going to have a water balloon fight with the kids and Luna Fenderson Luna Fenderson's here it still isn't Zane Santiago but yeah they're all gonna kind of go uh enjoy each other's company look at the kids it's like mom against the kids <laughs> Cole's like <laughs> bitch <laughs> Look at them enjoying each other's company. <laughs> and then you just hear, you know, lightning and some pretty dramatic stuff going on in the background. Uh, we actually need to change Amber's outfit a lot. Which we will. Alright, somebody's a little tired. So, uh, yeah, why don't you, why don't you go relax? First, why don't you pee, and then go inside, Rose, and uh, eat some hay. There's the wannabe Andy. Hi. How are you, wannabe Andy? Javon Newman. Andy wannabe. Um, okay, finally, Andy's hectic day is over with. So he's going to go here and now, Captain, and... Uh, Captain and Cotton are going to go in here. Where's Cotton? Right here. Captain's going to come over here and say, Hey, girl, let's try for some babies. Um, I've known you for a whole day. Let's do it. Oh, it didn't work. Ugh. Let's continue to socialize at her. Might take a little bit of work, but usually it's pretty fast. 
Finally, Luna Fenderson. <laughs> she took forever. Damn! Who threw that that knocked Luna straight to her ass? Oh, look at Luna. She's like, I never win. <laughs> <laughs> That's great though. Um, okay, these two need to hurry up and uh, have a babies. Travis and babies. Luna got him back. Luna got Cole back. Damn, they're being real aggressive. Come on, you guys are pretty good friends. You guys don't need to be freaking best friends to go have babies. Come on. Come on. Ugh. You missed... Okay, you've missed enough harvest that your eggs have hatched. Make sure your new chicks are getting all the love and attention that they need. So, now, if we go home really, really quickly, um, we have little chickens. Little chicks. Oh, why is Andy home? Andy! Alright, let's watch them hatch really quickly. You can see their little feet sticking out. Yay! Now we have chicks! <laughs> Play with them, Andy, really quickly. Play with the chicks! <laughs> Alright. Andy, go head to the festival now. Everybody's there. And your daughter should be aging up any minute now. So, that should be exciting. Where's Brandy? She's over here. Brandy, don't even... Not Brandy. Why do I keep saying Brandy? Bailey, don't even bother doing your homework. Seriously. Like, there's no point. Um, These two really need to... Get it on. Uh, let's see. They will... Socialize. Nuzzle. We might just try for puppies in the next part. Chase and yeah, we'll do them in the next part. Uh, goof around and yeah, just just take it slow, I guess. Even though I want them to like do it now, we'll wait. Okay, dokies, and we here's Andy now. We'll go ahead and begin that bonfire next to our picnic table. We still haven't used our picnic table, uh, so let's go ahead and put the bonfire out. I don't want to put it anywhere too, too close. Okay, we're going to put it in, fr <laughs> in front of the soccer field. Probably not the best place to put it. That's what we're going to do. Okay. And Andy will light the fire after we have our picnic. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sit as a family. Oh, actually, somebody's about to have their birthday. All right, it's Bailey's birthday. Smells yeah. like ass. <laughs> Yay, Bailey. Yay. Awesome. Due to her indifferent study habits, <laughs> she developed the handy trait. Ew, what is she wearing? Katy Perry sweet treats. What are you doing? She's cute. She's she's cute. Okay. Let's see, Bailey Waters, what type of person is she? I feel like she's going pretty good with the equestrian training and everything, and I feel like she'd be able to master it by the time, you know, she's older. She kind of got like an early start with it because she was a teenager when we started. So, with that being said, we'll do this. We'll do the jockey just like her mom. All right, she does look a bit ratchet, but it's family time. So everybody's going to come over here. No. Everybody, you're going to come sit down. I don't care about your freaking eating contest. Get your ass over here. Everybody, come sit down. Grab a plate of food. All right, it's family time. Grab a... No. Get over here. Grab a plate of food. Everybody. Family bonding time. Mm, 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 
<laughs> Good. This is what I like to see. All of them just relaxing together, eating their food, and having a good time. And he's just looking around like, oh, I hate you all. He was about to go home. Now, Andy, why don't you go light that bonfire over there? We'll, we'll use the juice keg for another occasion. Um, and everybody's going to come over here. Poke it at least. At least poke it. <laughs> and uh, just chillax for a little bit. Andy said, Andy thinks he's a chick magnet. You wish. See, the kids are enjoying it. Because I forced them to enjoy it, but whatever. Alrighty, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I'm have everybody go home and head to bed and everything. Um, in the next part, we are going to try for puppies. Uh... We'll leave the bonfire here. Who cares? Yes, we're going to try for puppies and hopefully get lucky enough. Actually, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get lucky and get several. We'll probably have the puppies in the next part, too. Um, we're also going to change Bailey's appearance, of course. We're going to go ahead and register as a self-employed uh, horsewoman. And I think that's all I have on my mind as of right now. But, of course, more will happen. Why is she driving this? Oh my goodness. Okay, like I was saying, I will see you guys in the next part. I love you guys so much. Just kidding. Bye, Before we go, look what actually just happened. Somebody's ghost came out. Here's Meadow's ghost right here. It's pretty different um, to see this. We can't mount on her, which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> it's pretty funky. <laughs> so like I was saying, I will see you guys in the next part. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.